Once the humidity levels start to go up within our homes, we see telltale signs like increase in mold on walls, cupboards, clothes, a musty smell in the house, clothes not drying, or in general an increase in allergies. In general, a 30 to 60% humidity is expected to be in the comfortable range for most people. Couple of things to note before you buy a dehumidifier. One. If you stay in an area with moderate humidity, let's say up to 70% humidity, and your goal is to remove moisture and to reduce temperature, then an AC will be preferable for you. Second, if you stay in an area that is both humid and cool, then a separate dehumidifier is sufficient. A dehumidifier removes moisture but does not cool the air. In fact, the ambient temperature goes up slightly, which is still okay because in general, your ambient temperature is cooler. Third, if you stay in an area that is both hot and humid, then you may need to couple an AC with a separate dehumidifier as the AC would not be able to dehumidify sufficiently. And fourth, if you're looking at reducing humidity only in specific areas of the house, like inside cupboards or shoe racks, you can use moisture absorbents or silica gel. You also get miniature dehumidifiers if the humidity levels of these enclosed spaces are really high. I've linked to a few in the description. So let's now discuss how to select the best dehumidifier. The first thing to consider is the capacity. In this case, the amount of moisture it can remove from the air. If you stay in a very humid area, let's say above 80% humidity, you need at least a dehumidifier that removes 14 to 15 liters a day or above. If you stay in an area with medium humidity, between 50 to 80%, you need at least a dehumidifier with 10 to 12 liter per day capacity or above. The small portable ones that remove up to 50 ml per day are only ideal for really small areas like inside the closet or cupboards or shoe racks. Amongst the dehumidifiers compared, Sharp Dehumidifier has the lowest dehumidifying capacity per day and Indian brands like PowerPie Electronics and Sujai have 30 liters per day dehumidifying capacity, which is ideal for larger rooms or for areas with high humidity. Next, you have to check the room size it can cater to. Most of these dehumidifiers compared cater to 200 to 400 square feet room sizes. If you have a larger room, you may need to use multiple dehumidifiers in the room. Sharp air purifier with dehumidifying capacity of 20 liters supports the largest room size of up to 550 square feet. The next thing to consider is the tank capacity and if the dehumidifier has continuous draining of the collected water. If continuous draining is not available or if you place your dehumidifier far away from the drain, then you need to select a dehumidifier with the largest tank. All dehumidifiers except the sharp air purifier with dehumidifier compared have the continuous drain option and amongst the models compared, PowerPie Electronics and Sujai have the largest tank capacity. One thing to note is that the drain pipe may need to be purchased separately, especially if you need a longer pipe that needs to go all the way till your drain outlet, let's say in your bathroom or kitchen. All dehumidifiers compared have an auto shutoff feature which stops the dehumidification process once the water tank is full. Except for one of the sharp dehumidifiers, you can also set preferred humidity levels. Compared to an AC, electricity consumption of dehumidifiers is much lower between 150 to 300 watts per hour. So a much cheaper option if you're only looking at dehumidifying without cooling the room. Many dehumidifiers also provide an air purification option by including a HEPA and carbon filter. Some only disperse negative ions to freshen the air. It's not really air purification. The Sharp 20 liter per day model is the only one that is advertised as both an air purifier and a dehumidifier and performs the best air purification as well, if that is your need. In the case of PowerPi Electronics, the air purification kit needs to be purchased separately. The largest model of PowerPi Electronics dehumidifier supports adjusting the humidity levels and controlling the dehumidifier using an app, Alexa or Google Home. None of the other models compared have this option. Since the last time I did this comparison, the pricing of these dehumidifiers have increased significantly. All of the dehumidifiers compared are for full rooms and are upwards of 20,000 with the largest one that I have compared all the way up to 38,000. 
From a warranty point of view, PowerPi Electronics gives a two-year warranty on their larger models and all of the other dehumidifier models compared come with a one-year warranty. In general, service seems to be positive for most brands compared, but they seem to be serviced from a few central service centers. So based on all of these, I have three recommendations for the best dehumidifiers for you. As you have seen, many dehumidifiers in India are from local brands. If you are looking for one with a brand backing, then I recommend the Sharp 20 litre per day air purifier with dehumidifier model. At a price of about 35,000, it offers the best air purification as well with a HEPA 14 filter. It has a 4.6 litre tank but does not have continuous draining capacity. Now 4.6 litres is sufficient for a full night's sleep in areas of high humidity. Second, if you're looking for a dedicated dehumidifier for medium to large sized rooms, I recommend the PowerPi Electronics dehumidifiers. They come in both a 20 litre and a 30 litre per day dehumidifying capacity. Both of these models have large tank sizes. They have auto drain capability. They support room sizes of up to 450 square feet. The larger 30 litre per day model also comes with a smart app support which can be used to control the dehumidifier using app or Alexa or Google Home. But the air purification kit for PowerPi Electronics comes at an extra cost. They also offer the best warranty of two years. For smaller rooms, I recommend the Origin 13 litre per day dehumidifier. It has a water tank of 2.3 litres with an auto drain capability. It has the dehumidification capacity of 13 litres per day and an ionization function for freshening the room. For cupboards or enclosed spaces, I recommend a moisture absorber or silica gel as a budget option. As soon as the color changes, it needs to be replaced. There are small dehumidifiers that are battery operated that you can use for enclosed spaces as well, which I have linked in the description. If you are looking for an AC instead, watch this video next. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.